Sutter's crime drama, Sons of Anarchy, successfully entertained fans for seven seasons. Now that he's taken his talents to Netflix, the season's showrunner has a western titled The Abandons that will be released on the streaming service. Kurt Sutter, who also created Sons of Anarchy for Netflix, will be the creator of the new television show The Abandons, which will attempt to succeed Longmire while trying to compete with shows like Yellowstone and 1883. The Abandons will be produced by Kurt Sutter, who will also serve as the show's executive producer, as was first announced in November 2021. Even before he became famous with the motorcycle gang show Sons of Anarchy, where he also appeared in front of the camera as Otto, Sutter has long been passionate about producing westerns. Sutter described in an interview how watching HBO's Deadwood reawakened his passion for the subject. He went on to say that during the COVID lockdown, he had finally gotten around to re-watching the classic western series Bonanza when he came up with the idea for The Abandons. So Sutter's inspiration for The Abandons came from Deadwood and Bonanza. The Shield, a crime drama on FX, was Sutter's first notable project. During his time at FX, he also worked on The Bastard Executioner. But his most well-known work is on Sons of Anarchy and its spin-off, Mayans MC, which was just given a fifth season. He's got a couple of buddies in Chinatown. They'd love to find them, show them a good time. The news of the Abandoned series order comes about a year after it was first revealed that Sutter was developing the Western series for Netflix. And with this latest update, the coming weeks are set to reveal more relevant details about the series as production plans kick off. The Abandoned is a bit of a passion project for Sutter that has finally materialized. The idea for it actually predates both Sons of Anarchy and Sutter's other most well-known television work. Sutter also suggested that the Abandons might offer a subtly critical take on the state of the world today. There is an organic way to incorporate those elements into stories that really parallel the current tragedy we're going through, without preaching, Sutter said. Additionally, this is Sutter's second partnership with Netflix. He is also helming the historical drama This Beast, but the Abandons is a much more intimate undertaking. Sutter had the idea for the Western series even before he started working on Sons of Anarchy. Last year, he expressed his excitement about taking on this project and seeing his dream come true. So let's explore this new series in more detail and see what happens. Netflix hasn't provided any release information for The Abandons, but given that it is still in the very early stages of development, we can only predict a late 2023 or 2024 release date. Sutter will serve as showrunner and executive producer for the 10-episode season of the action drama through his Sutter Inc. production company. In November 2021, Netflix announced that the project was in development. Before he brought Sons of Anarchy to the big screen, Sutter claimed that he had already begun to envision the series. Additionally, he acknowledged that the Bonanza and La Cosa Nostra stories, which he repeatedly watched during the pandemic's lockdowns, served as the inspiration for the plot. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already! <laughs> oh, long before Sons of Anarchy, Sutter had fantasized about creating a Western television series. But after watching HBO's Deadwood, he shelved the idea. He tried and failed to acquire the rights to a Western IP during the coronavirus pandemic. So he created a brand new idea for The Abandons. The Abandons was set up more quickly than any other project Sutter has worked on after former FX executive Danielle Woodrow moved to Netflix as he was developing the concept. This series will transport viewers to the Oregon frontier in the 1850s. Quote, We're on the western frontier, somewhere between the Dakotas and California, a small cattle town circa 1850, he explained at the time. So it's post-Gold Rush, pre-Civil War, and then some natural resources discovered. In the 1850s, a corrupt force of wealth and power in Oregon attempted to drive out a group of diverse outlier families who were pursuing their manifest destiny. These lost souls, the kind who lives on the fringes of society, band together with their tribes to form a family and take the fight to the enemy. In this approach, the definition of justice is pushed past the bounds of the law. The Abandons, a story about a family fighting to keep their land, will explore the thin line between survival and the law, the consequences of violence, and the destructive power of secrets. The Hearst-like characters and the Italian aristocracy are part of this affluent family, and then they attempt to oust the ranchers. The majority of them are sold out. 
The people who initially refused are eventually removed or tragically disappear. One particular set of families, however, refuses to sell. They form a group. Against the oppressor, they resist. One makes a decision. Some of them resort to violence before taking matters into their own hands and forging their own fate. Sutter also suggested that the Abandons might offer a subtly critical take on the state of the world today. Sutter even has a plot summary for the first season, which will take place before the Civil War and feature a number of characters turning into outlaws. The first season will be entirely devoted to their growth into outlaws in an era prior to all the well-known outlaws we are familiar with, such as Jesse James and Billy the Kid. Although all those outlaws didn't appear until after the Civil War, the presence of the Pinkertons indicates that there were outlaws at the time, and as a result, it resembles the James Gang's predecessor as well as other well-known outlaws that we associate with the Wild West. The reason Netflix is excited about the concept is that the West is literally wild. In that time, most were territories, and the traditional boundaries of civilized society didn't apply to the frontier. As of right now, we don't know anything about a potential cast. Characters with the enduring appeal are crucial to the Western film genre. As the genre first started to emerge in the early 20th century silent film reels, early Westerns presented clear-cut morals with instantly recognizable heroes and villains. Great actors bring these captivating stories to life, whether they play heroes, villains, or characters who straddle the line between right and wrong. When it comes to historical accuracy, Western movies can be hit or miss, while some painstakingly recreate actual historical events. Others are set in a world that bears no resemblance to reality. With that being said, as far as I'm concerned, it'd be nice to see some iconic actors that are well known for their roles in Western movies, such as Clint Eastwood or Ed Harris. Of course, we can't rule out Brad Pitt. I mean, he does a perfect job no matter the genre or the role. Sutter doesn't have a lot of credits on his resume, but the ones he does have are generally quite impressive. The well-known producer, writer, director, and actor is best known for his work on Sons of Anarchy, but he has also contributed to shows like The Shield and Mayans MC. He wrote the boxing film Southpaw starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and Sutter also starred alongside Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley in the science fiction film Chaos Walking. The seasoned writer has even had a Punisher script rejected by Marvel. While all of these accomplishments are noteworthy in their own right, there is no denying that his most notable claim to fame is the FX series. But now that he has moved on to the streaming realm, he's eager to add more titles to his greatest hits collection. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> But that's not the only exciting project he has in the works for the streaming powerhouse. His next series has finally been approved by Netflix, and it will be unlike anything he's done before. The intriguing plot of The Abandons has all the makings of being a Netflix must-see for Western fans, and it is shaping up to be yet another outstanding addition to Sutter's impressive collection of work. See you in the next video!